So we're getting a lot of questions about interest rates. You know, as we head into 2024, uh, last year the U.S. Fed came out and they were very optimistic on whether they were going to uh, cut interest rates throughout this year. And if you looked at a lot of the headlines last year, uh, there was a lot of optimism. They expected anywhere between four to five, maybe even as many as six interest rate cuts this year. While you fast forward four weeks, four to five weeks, and you look at the actual headlines, it's the complete opposite. You know, they're not anticipating uh, uh, rate decreases as uh, fast as what they anticipated. And as a matter of fact, we might only get three to four, may maybe. Um, and it's likely they're not going to start until probably mid-year. Um, so, you know, I don't believe we're going to get, you know, these six, you know, 0.25 or 25 basis point cuts, but perhaps maybe we get some supersized cuts in their middle to the end of the year, or maybe get half a point. But there's a lot of um, economic uh, headwinds that's affecting interest rates right now. The biggest one is sticky inflation. We're still seeing you know, numbers a little bit higher than expected. And then the second one is our, our labor markets, both here in Canada and the US, uh, very sticky. Uh, you know, we're seeing actually job growth rather than uh, you know, job loss. And so long as those two things stay where they are, you know, I anticipate our um, our interest rates to kind of stay kind of where they are. If anything, we might even see an increase, but in all likelihood, we'll see decreases as we get in through the year.